In this video, we are going to show you how to use your SC6540 with a HiPod Ultra to create a complex automated test setup. The SC6540 scanners are a series of high voltage and high current multiplexers that allow the user to configure a DUT for multi-point automated testing. The power indicator LED shows whether the unit is on or off. The module type LED shows which type of modules are installed in the scanner. If the red LED is lit, you have high voltage or continuity channels. If the green LED is lit, you have high current or ground bond channels. On this instrument, there are two high voltage modules for a total of 16 channels. The channel LEDs indicate whether your channel is set to high or low for the given test. There are two separate modules on each scanner. Module A, which is the first eight channels, and module B, which is channels nine through 16, if those happen to be installed on the scanner. On the rear panel, we have two separate scanners to show the difference between a main module and a secondary module. The major difference between the main module and the secondary module is the main has its own input power, whereas the secondary draws power through the scanner bus input. The main module has a power switch, control bus for PC connection, and voltage selection switch with 115 and 230 volt selections. There is a grounding chassis, which should be connected to a good ground when racking up in a system. Additionally, there's the scanner bus output. The scanner bus output will be connected to a secondary scanner bus input. This allows the main to communicate with the secondary and set various channels. The address switches are 8-pin DIP switches that are used to address modules in the SE6540 secondary or used to configure the address of a main should you use GPIB communication. The DIP switches address will be the same as the GPIB address in binary. Next are the input terminals, current, return, and high voltage. These terminals will either connect to the HiPot Ultra instruments or other AR instruments to provide high current, high voltage, and a return path for all your test types. Finally, we have the channels and the channel types. The main has all the same channel types. The white style connectors are high voltage channels, rated from 0 to 5 kV AC and DC. There are also ground bond channels for high current applications. The ground bond channels run individual current from an individual channel back to the GCOM port. They're rated for up to 40 amps. This modular design allows for a variety of configurations. In addition to the main and secondary configurations, you can also have different configurations for high voltage or high current. In other words, you can have 16 high voltage channels, eight high voltage channels, 16 high current channels, eight high current channels, eight high voltage channels, or eight high current channels, depending on the application. Next, we're going to connect the HiPot Ultra to a secondary scanner, then set up the scanner channels for each type of test. First, connect to the scanner bus. Connect the scanner 1 port on the back of the HiPod Ultra to the scanner bus input on the secondary scanner. Use the screws to tighten the connection. This allows the HiPod Ultra to communicate directly with the scanner to tell it which channels to set for each individual test. Next, we're going to interconnect the high voltage ports. To do this, you'll need a high voltage to high voltage connector. This is an HS8-12 connector. Connect on the high voltage port on the HiPod Ultra to the HV port on the scanner. This allows high voltage to be injected into the scanner and then set to any individual channel. Next, connect the current to the current port on the scanner if running a ground bond or continuity test. Using the LIMO and sheath Calvin connection, we're going to input the current and the Sense Plus on the HiPod Ultra and use the hook lug to connect on the current terminal of the SC6540. This allows for an injection of current into the current terminal on the SC6540 to either connect to the HV channels for continuity or ground bond channels for a ground bond test. Finally, we need to interconnect the return points to allow us a return path for our tests. Just as with the current connector, plug the black limo connector into the return and sense minus on the HiPod Ultra. Use the hook lug to connect to the return terminal on the SC6540. Now we have all three of our terminals connected to run the test. Next, connect the individual channels to your device under test. For example, use the standard high voltage lead. 
connect it to channel 1, and connect the clip end to the device under test. You can do the same thing for the remaining channels. Associated Research does not provide standard accessories for the ground bond channels. We recommend you use at least a 10 gauge wire or something that can handle up to 40 amps of current. Now, let's set up a test using the scanner. Push the Setup Test soft key and press New File. Using the keypad, enter the name of your test file. Press Enter to confirm. Let's set up a ground bond scanner test with the shown parameters. Press the Scanner soft key to bring up the scanner channel screen. You can select channels 1 through 8 and either set them high or off. For the ground bond test, you can only set an individual channel one time per test. It's going to output high current through the ground bond channel and return on the GCOM channel. Once the test has started, you can see the channel was set and that the LED indicator is showing you that ground channel is set for channel 1 for this test. Next, we're going to set up the scanners for a high pot test. Press the scanner soft key. For a high pot test, you can set a channel high, which is red, or low, which is green, and black is off or an open relay. Setting a channel high will automatically connect it to the high voltage port that is connected on the back. Setting it low will connect it to the return port. This allows you to set multiple channels. For example, if you wanted to test channels 1, 2, and 3 back to channels 4, 5, and 6, simply use the arrow key to scroll over and set each channel. Press Enter to confirm. Once the test has started, the active channels are indicated on the front of the scanner. The scanner, set up for an insulation resistance test, works the same as a high pot test. Go back to the test sequence and add a DC continuity test. Now you can see the scanner channels just like the high pot channels. This gives you the flexibility to set continuity either the same as ground bond channels or point to point. Once completed, hit enter to save the setup. Press the test button. The scanner LEDs will light up as each test is being run. Press the results key to review your results.